Hi folks, welcome to my small urban garden in Splot. So I'm going to start at the back area here. We have got uh, my shed and right at the back there behind that wheelbarrow is my wormery in quite a cool shady space. Um, I've got a few plants there left to give away and my first interesting container. I've got an old chest here which I've repurposed and I've got red veined sorrel growing in there, really nice in salads. And then over here I've got a bin full of potatoes next to my water butt and food bins. And then we're going to swivel around. Um, this is quite a shady area of my garden. Um, so this year I'm trying to grow all my kind of leafy greens and brassicas here, which is why I've got this covered area. I'm trying to protect them from cabbage white. And then we'll move over here. I've got my chair planter, which is still doing really well, full of sedums. Um, I've got my bay tree and a few pots and herbs and things over this other side here. I've got some mint, I've got some beans and peas that are trying to hold on and battle the slugs here. Lots of mint here, really happy. And then just moving up the wall, this is where I have all my strawberries. We've had loads this year, really big strawberries. And I've got this rogue giant poppy up here which is about to emerge. A few more bits over here in the shady area. Got some sweet peas here. They could probably do with a little bit more sun, but I do always get flowers every year. Maybe not as many as I'd like. And then this is the main space of the garden. It is really small, probably like just four and a half meters uh, square. <clears throat> um, so we'll do a little, little tour around through the path. So this is my really shady area. It's, it's got the shade of this fence and it's also kind of shaded by this big, big honeysuckle here. So I kind of struggle in this area to get good ground cover. But my comfrey is super happy here. It is huge and the bees love it and I can make um, feed from the leaves. And then if we just explore into this wild area here, I've got my meadow suite again which has gone huge. A fern at the back and this is kind of a shady area as well if I show you in here you can see I've got a tiny little pond here um, which to be honest I haven't had any any frogs or exciting wildlife in mainly the cats like to come and drink from it um, but but hopefully one day uh, and then all along the back here I've got kind of a wild bee friendly pollinator area so we've got yarrow uh, i think i've got pulmonia over here we've got a foxglove that's gonna come up um i've got some some borage uh looking really happy here they love those flowers and you can pop those i pop those into um salads and sometimes into my gin uh and then i've got my chives here this is my uh tire planter with soft fruit in so um i actually get raspberries and gooseberries um, out of these tyres and I've had loads and loads of raspberries this year. Oh, sleeping cat at the back there. <laughs> um, yeah, a, a sink planted up with some more sedums. Um, my back fence here with some nasturtiums and a few other pots here including right at the end a, um, a rose scented geranium which is really really lovely. Okay let's swing on round to some of the main beds. So here this year I've got some courgettes and a few broccoli plants which are a bit experimental um, because I know they might get munched on out here and then um, a main bed of tomatoes so I've done some tomatoes in the ground this year, some in pots. These ones are doing quite well actually, they seem quite happy. Um, they do get a little bash, bit bashed around in the wind unfortunately though. Um, and then here, this is a new contraption for this year, I'm trying to make a squash arch. Um, so I've got a few squash plants in here. I've got at the back two crown prince squashes, one Hokkaido, and then a space where the slugs got the other one. So <clears throat> I'm going to put a patty pan squash in there. <clears throat> and then my rosemary bush, which I think was here when we moved in. I just transplanted it. It's doing quite well. Some more tomatoes here. 
um, that pot's probably the smallest I would go for two tomatoes actually um, but these were spare ones so we'll see how they go a few other bits and bobs I think those gladioli might come up this year our sunny bench area so this is the first year I've allowed us to have a bench in the sunshine usually this whole area is for uh, tomatoes and uh, veg that needs lots of sunshine but this year I decided because we're going to be out here so much we deserve the sunshine. Um, and then over to my other bed here, I've got a kind of salady bed happening. So I've got some, some big fat lettuce this year, which have come out really well. And then some bits and bobs of salad leaves, some things that self seeded like this dill. Uh, and then I've got some spring onions coming up nicely there as well. So this bed will be quite kind of pick and come again. And I'll sort of change this as and when I need to. And then for the first time in this garden, I'm trying to grow some cucumbers. Again, it's been a bit windy recently, so they're not too happy, but I think they'll just about be okay. It is a very sunny spot and I've built them something to climb up, so hopefully they'll be happy. Um, I think that's most of it really. Oh, the little herb bed over here and we've got some scabious, which the bees absolutely love. I've got some oregano and lots of lemon balm here, which absolutely goes mad. Um, and I like to make iced tea with it. Um, it's a really nice way to use it because I don't use it much in cooking. Um, but that's my, my little space.